Live from Chicago, Illinois, it's theCUBE. Covering Veeam on 2018. Brought to you by Veeam. Welcome back here in the Windy City. This is theCUBE's coverage of Veeamon 2018. I'm your host, Stu Miniman, and they're breaking down the show, but we always have room for bringing some diversity to the show. Both, we've got Charu Madan, uh, who is the Director of Strategic Alliances with Nutanix. Always want more women in technology on Thank our you. program. And also, we, we can't go without getting in to talk to more users. So also happy to welcome to the program, Chris Hippensteel, who's Network and Systems Administrator with New Resources Consulting, right over the border in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank right. you, it's great to be here. Yeah, so Charu, actually, I saw you last week uh, where you're, you're following me around at all these shows, of course. <laughs> you know, I was at your show, Nutanix.next, uh, in New Orleans. Uh, just give our audience uh, your role at Nutanix, what brings you to the Veeam show. Absolutely, Stu, thank you for having us here. And uh, it looks like we'll be forklifted out of here as being the last uh, CUBE uh, event of the day. But um, yes, we had an amazing event uh, last week at, in New Orleans. And as you saw, the customers were stoked, they were pumped. I just got a chance to talk to so many customers about our direction, about what they heard at the keynote, and I think they were absolutely excited. Um, you know, our direction in, in software, being a cloud company, all those things resonated so well. And I think the fact that we launched our freedom campaign, you probably heard that, freedom to build, freedom to run any application, freedom to invent, uh, freedom to uh, you know, really focus on multi-cloud and not be bogged down by which cloud in this, hybrid cloud is a complex journey. So, uh, and, and finally, freedom to play. And I think that'll resonate very well with uh, Chris out here. So I think that was a very powerful message we sent out that we are giving our customers choice and ability to run Nutanix anywhere and any workload. Yeah, absolutely. Had a great conversation with your new CMO, Ben, at, at the show, but I've got a customer. So, <laughs> Chris, is this your first Veeam on? Uh, yes, this is my first Veeam on conference. All right, uh, t tell us a little bit about your role in your organization. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, the network and systems uh, engineer and administrator at New Resources Consulting, um, and so I pretty much uh, take care of the whole show. Um, anywhere from simple help desk questions to uh, rebuilding uh, entire SAN environment. So uh, I came into the company and uh, there was a lot of legacy equipment yeah. and um, things were breaking, they were just, wasn't, it wasn't good, yeah. so. So Chris, before we get into the tech yeah. and yeah, the, the, the company itself, give, it, give us a thumbnail what the operation is. Uh, yeah, so New Resources, New Resources Consulting is a consulting firm out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, we have users based all over the US and in Canada. Um, we focus uh, a lot on managed services, uh, Oracle solutions, PeopleSoft. Um, we do a lot with the, the water and waste management out in LA and Boston and Denver. Um, so we kind of focus on, on that, that part of IT. Yeah, so it sounds very much a changing dynamic happening there. What are some of the, 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 the stresses on the organization? What's your role in connection with the business? Um, so some of the stresses that I was having was um, uh, we're, we're sitting there trying to get development servers spun up and um, with the legacy equipment, I would, you know, going down a lot, I just wasn't able to do that. Um, so now I'm happy that with Nutanix, I'm able to keep everything running smoothly. Um, it's almost like the company doesn't even know I'm there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it, it, it's interesting. You know, if I last week it, we've been talking a lot about invisible. This week it's about availability. So maybe, maybe you could speak to kind of what that means for your operation. Give us kind of the before and uh, you know journey that you went through. Yeah. So uh, before, as I had mentioned, I had a lot of legacy equipment. Um, I was bidding on things on eBay. I didn't even have the option to buy some things that I needed to replace, and um, my availability wasn't really really there, uh, both at work and uh, in my home life. Um, I was kind of constantly putting out fires um, instead of working on growing the company, uh, getting new, new equipment in, um, doing new processes. Um, so that was the before, now, now after. Um, my wife is quite happy that I'm uh, home at reasonable times and not, not leaving the house at uh, 9 or 10 p.m. or 4 o'clock in the morning to go uh, switch out controller cards or drives in my sand. Um, it's allowed me to work on other projects, um, doing an Office 365 rollout. Um, 
as well as uh, a lot of documentation that wasn't there before me and um, helping out my users where um, I wasn't able to do so much because I was putting out all those fires. All right, all right Chris, Chris, I've heard from Nutanix customers before, it gives me my weekend back, allows me to do opportunities. As first one, I think it, it helped me in my home relationship. Yes. <laughs> uh, so family, happy to see you. Uh, yeah. You know, happy wife, happy life. Yes, uh, exactly. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, Ch Charu, uh, g give us a little bit of color on uh, you know, what you're seeing and maybe uh, some of the Nutanix Veeam uh, partnership. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I'll kind of replay what I heard and what I saw actually from customers last week at, in New Orleans and this week here in um, Chicago. I mean, in New Orleans, uh, Veeam uh, folks had a breakout session where they were going to talk about the partnership and what we are doing together. And it was a full house. People had to be turned back and could not be accommodated in that room. So it just that's just a testament to show how much interest there is in Nutanix, in Veeam, and the joint solution. And you know, when I talked to customers like Chris, uh, got talking to him in detail on um, on Monday, and you know, Chris is talking about how Veeam and Nutanix has simplified his operations, reduced cost tremendously for his uh, company, and really helped him focus on driving business value to his internal clients versus, like he said, keeping the lights on. So, just talking to customers about this and hearing the excitement, the elation from our customers, that is really empowering. So I think these are, the two companies have very similar principles. You know, we both love simplicity for our clients. We are both extremely customer centric. So that makes us very well positioned as companies will work very well together having that common DNA. So we are very excited to, you know, have a great partnership with Veeam and I would say now amping up our partnership and doing even more better, bigger stuff. Yeah, uh, Chris, one of the things that I, I hear through both companies, you know, multi-hypervisors, all, all good, uh, you know, the, how the cloud story is maturing. Uh, any commentaries, what, what you're using from the hypervisor space and what does cloud mean to your organization? Um, yeah, so we don't do too much, too much with the cloud. We kind of keep everything in-house. Um, but uh, we're a VMware shop currently, but we're, we're looking forward to um, Veeam and uh, Nutanix to roll out their hypervisor, um, get that solution ready for us. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know, VMware is what we, what we currently use, and it, it's working great, but um, moving to Nutanix, it allowed me to save uh, a lot of money on cost um, with the licensing I currently had to the licensing I have now, and Nutanix is going to help me out even further when I move over to their hypervisor, um, saving me even more money for my company, which is always good for everybody. All right, well, Charu, uh, Chris is the good setup there. We're talking <laughs> about AHV. I talked to Peter McKay a little bit about it at Veeam, but you know, give, give us the update on, on, on bringing those solutions together. Yeah, great question, and uh, yes, I guess some of the rumors are true, you know, it, we are working on it, the teams are actively working on bringing that delight to customers like Chris, because Chris, you're not the first one who's asked for it, we've had uh, thousands of customers asking us uh, for uh, that capability of Veeam, um, being able to back up not just with VMware, but also now with our uh, Acropolis hypervisor. Um, so it's imminent. Uh, we already have hundreds of customers running the beta. We, we, we launched the beta a couple of months back. And the GA is right around the corner. It's not years, it's not months. What, I, what the Veeam folks tell me, it's a matter of a few weeks. And uh, we are very excited about getting that out. And really like, you know, Chris just said it so well, like helping them save costs and helping our thousands of customers do the same. It's really nice to see both companies working together um, and know that they actually listen to their customers. You know, they listen to what we want um, and then they go and they find the solutions and work together to actually make it a reality. All right, Chris, I want to give you the final word. We're getting towards the end of the show. They got the closing keynote. They've got the big Veeam party. Uh -huh. All right. uh, Nutanix had a great party in New Orleans uh, <laughs> uh, last year. Uh, last week, I should say. Uh, Veeam actually had a great party too in New Orleans last great, year. Great um, but uh, they're there. So, uh, just for your peers, uh, tell them some of the key takeaways, one of the main things that you got out of coming the show. Uh, yeah, the, the, the big things I really liked, um, a lot of the breakout sessions, I was able to actually sit down um, face to face with technicians that I had talked to over the phone that I, that I looked up and um, you know, I've learned so much from and actually dig deeper into conversations with them because um, coming to something like this, it's, it's, it's different than just being on the phone with somebody for support um, or asking them questions or reading knowledge base articles. So uh, a lot of the breakout sessions, um, getting to meet uh, more of the faces from Nutanix and Veeam 
uh, and talking to them about um, new things that I'm looking forward to um, and just kind of brainstorming how I can better run my business um, with their advice. All right, well, Chris and Charo, really help you, appreciate you helping bring us to a close yeah. of our coverage. Here in Chicago, it's been a deep dish of all of the technology, <laughs> little culture, a little bit of sports discussion. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Of course, always go to thecube.net for all the replays of this show. See where we're going to be at. Come say hi to us. Hit us up on any of the social media. For Stu Miniman, my co-host, Dave Vellante, the whole crew here from SiliconANGLE Media, thank you so much for watching theCUBE.